So let's say you've designed your website using DV4, but now it's time to upgrade it to DV5. How would you do it? So this is what we're gonna do in this video. I'm going to show you how to do the migration from DV4 onto DV5. Now, bear in mind that this is the alpha version, so you should not use this on a production website. But it will be very interesting to see how that transition works because that feature is already in DV5. So over here, I have a website that was designed in DV4, and the idea now is to see how easy it is to convert this to DV5. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do now is to go into our dashboard here so I can get to install a DV5. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. So I'm gonna come over here to themes and then I'm gonna click on add new theme. So here's where I need to upload it. So I'm gonna click on upload theme, choose file. Now this is already in my downloads folder and here it is. I'm gonna double click on that and then click on install now. So at this point, we're not sure what's gonna happen. This is the first time I'm doing this by the way. Is it going to replace the current DV4 or is it going to merge the files? Let's wait and see. So right now it's installing. Okay, so it looks like it is going to merge with DV4 into one active install. So let's go ahead now and click on replace active with uploaded. And then I'm going to uh, pretty much looks like it's done. Look at that, that was quick. But are we sure that this is what happened? Well, to check, let's head over to themes and see if we have two different versions of Divi. And surprisingly, there's only one, and I can see that this is Divi 5 because of the thumbnail here. So the question now is, has the change been applied to the actual website? Let's take a look. So I'm gonna come over here and visit the site, and I'm gonna open this in a new tab. So straight away, I can see I have an error here which says backward compatibility mode enabled. And let's see what happens if we click on edit with Divi. <laughs> that would be very interesting. What build are we going to get? Okay, fingers crossed. And we are in Divi 5, but do you notice something here? It looks like things are not really in place, but I won't make any conclusions. I'm gonna do a quick preview here. And this is gonna open in a new tab. So let's see if now this has done the conversion. I don't think it has, but let's take a look. So I'm gonna go in and inspect this and see if we still have those short codes. Yes, okay, so you see here, it looks like we still have uh, the short codes. Let me close out of here. And another way to check if we still have our short codes is to head over back to uh, our site here. In fact, let me go back and change the theme to 2024. So let's go ahead and activate this. And then we are going to now refresh this. Okay, so it's broken now. I'm gonna to go to edit page and we can see now that we have the short codes. So it looks like this has not upgraded yet. So don't make the mistake of just adding DV5 alpha and then assume that that is the migration. Now, let me show you what the migration is. So back over here now, I'm now going to go and activate DV5 again. So the proper process now is to either come over here where it says migrate this website or you wanna come over here to Divi and we have Divi5 Migrator. So it depends where you wanna go ahead and click. Okay, so now it's saying something builder templates are incompatible with Divi5 Alpha and then it tells us which ones they are. So here we have WooCommerce modules. Now this website is not using WooCommerce so that should be fine. We shouldn't have a problem with that. So let's go ahead now and continue. So I'm gonna click here on upgrade the sites to DV5 Alpha and then confirm. Okay, so it looks like it has worked. Now I'm not sure if that has really worked. So <laughs> I'm going to refresh here. Okay, so we are back in our DV Builder. I'm gonna click on edit with the DV Builder and let's see what happens now. So, when I take a look at this, it looks like everything is in place now. And let's preview this and then just go through the pages and see if we have any issues in our design. It looks like everything is okay here. Here's the blog page. Okay, contact. All right, so it looks like everything has changed correctly, which is pretty cool. Again, let's do that test and see if we disable this, are we going to see any shortcodes? I'm interested to see what happens there. So I'm gonna to go to themes 
Again, I'm gonna go to 2024 and activate, all right? Back over here, refresh, edit page, okay. So it looks like it doesn't support the DV, uh, blah, 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 but you can see the shortcodes are all gone and we just have auto save here. Okay, so it looks like the shortcodes are gone, but the question is, where's is the content? This is quite crazy. Yeah, where's the content? I guess maybe this is something that is going to be updated later on since this is an offer, because at least we should be able to see the, con uh, the content of this homepage. So, so far we just have this block which uh, pretty much I think houses everything in there. But anyway, let's head over back and let's go back to activate. So what I need to do now is to um, check a few things. So I'm going to refresh this again and then try and make a few changes. So if I click here, let's see if everything is working OK. Yeah, it looks like everything is fine here. I have my image in the background. Let's go to our text. Looks like our text module is working. That's fine. So it looks like the transition is very, very easy. Okay, this is very surprising. But if this is how things are going to be, then it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, I just want to go quickly back to our theme builder here and see if any files were imported correctly. And uh, sure enough, we have our body content here, but we don't have a header and footer. I'm not sure if this was by design or if that was the case but it looks like it was by design because if we preview this page, you're going to notice that we have a proper designed header here because this is not the default that we get when we install Divi. Okay, so it looks like it was by design. So, so far, I think the migration to from Divi 4 to Divi 5 is pretty straightforward. There isn't much really to, uh, to worry about. And I'm sure by the time this is out of beta, this is going to be fully, fully functional. I'm still looking forward to quite a lot of uh, features for DV5. So I keep have to uh, remind myself that this is still the alpha because I'm expecting to see everything working fine. But anyway, if you haven't signed up for the DV University uh, community, go ahead on DV university.com. The link to that is in the video description below. It's absolutely free. And also, if you haven't purchased Divi, this is the time to do it. As you can see, Divi, Divi 5 Alpha is now out and Divi 5 is the real deal. I'm sure they'll be building so many features on top of Divi 5 since this was built from the ground up. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.